Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my midweek vlog. Um, wow, I look like a busy working human being. I, I think this is the first time like seeing my hair this morning. Oops. Anyways, um, welcome. Today's vlog is literally just gonna be like a little like go through my day with me type of thing. Um, so you can call this um life of a blogger or like the real life of a blogger with less than 50k subscribers or whatever because I don't know I know other bloggers like traveled across the country and whatever to make their blog posts but I do not I blog for free currently so I'll just show you guys what that looks like for me um, my processes that I go through I know I've already posted many a video of like my like organization process and all of that but I guess you guys can just see like the behind the scenes of what I actually spend my time doing while I'm blogging um, so a little bit about what I'm doing today I actually already started um, but anyway I decided halfway through that I should probably you know vlog so here I am um, but currently today I am um, batching blog posts and what that means is I am um, writing a bunch of different posts um, all the same day I'm getting them all ready to be scheduled out for the next couple weeks so I already wrote three and I have a few more to do I can actually show you my desk sorry I'm like super disorganized right now not because like I've like not organized but because I'm in the middle of it so like my pre-organization is always like to a T just beautiful and then I get into it and I just destroy every form of organization whatsoever. Like I know what's going on, but if someone were to come and look at my desk and be like, they wouldn't know what I was doing because it's, it's for me, you know? Anyways, so currently where I am, sorry. These are all my little sticky notes and these all have different ideas of things that I'm gonna be writing. Well, not ideas, they're like concepts. Like they're things that have popped into my head at different points in time. I wrote them on a little sticky and yeah, today they're becoming blog posts. Um, I'll just kind of show you what goes into me writing a blog post, I guess. Like there's an idea that happens and there's little bits of research that happens as well. Um, a lot of the research has already happened. Um, that's how I kind of figure out how feasible it is for me to write. And also I don't want to write about things that like, I don't know about. So let's say if I'm gonna write about I don't know fitness like I want to make sure the things I'm saying are factual so I'll do some research on that before I like you know write about it I don't want to sound like an idiot um but yeah anyways end up talking to the vlog
so the time is now 8.09. Um, yeah, so basically I've been working on blogs all day. I've been spending the last hour to hour and a half working on pins. Um, I will usually try to make at least 10 pins per blog post. Um, using different images, different fonts, different styles, and all of that to put them on Pinterest and schedule them out for the next, like, two weeks. Um, so I've got quite a bit to make now. Um, I can show you what I've done so far. I just actually started using a new app. I used... I used to use this app called Over, um, and I love it. Um, it's very, like, I love the customization features of Over and whatever I get, like, I like that I get to use it like on my phone and whatever, um, but I just started using Canva, literally just today. Like I have, I've heard of it, but I haven't used it before. And I think the only thing that really puts Canva over over for me right now is the fact that I can design multiple like things at the same time. And I'll show you what I mean in a second. I'm just gonna take this off my tripod. Okay, so. This is for a blog post that I wrote, actually the first one that I wrote today. Um, this is the image. Something I made, this is not my photo. Um, but I got to use the photos provided in the app. Use different titles, different fonts, different styles, all of that. I don't even know how many I made. I have six, seven, eight. So I made eight today. So I usually like to make 10, um, but I'm gonna call it quits with eight. So what I'm doing next, I just downloaded them. So I'm gonna go to my Pinterest and I'm actually going to, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I'm going to upload them to my Pinterest and schedule them out to be posted throughout the week. So that's next on my agenda. Okay, so Pinterest is done for now. I actually decided I'm gonna take a break. Um, a because I've been sitting for so long, and I just want to like I don't know like stretch and like talk about blogging and answer some questions I guess about blogging. Basic overview of me and why I blog and why I even decided to do it and whatever. Um, so I've been a writer for a long time. I've been writing as a form of self-expression for so long and I think that the main reason I do it or even started doing it was because like, I don't know, I've never been, I won't say never, because I'm good at it now, but in the past it was not my strength to verbally express, but I needed to express. Like it, verbally I couldn't do it, I stopped myself from being able to, but like I needed to let what was inside out and so I wrote, I always wrote, I wrote on everything. Um, and that translated way later to being really good at like English classes or like when everyone else hated those take home journal assignments in class, like I loved it. I loved being able to like put who I was on paper. So I write, um, I've been that way for the longest time. I think I opened a Tumblr when I was in, I wanna say like, 11th grade 11th or 12th grade yeah uh yeah tumblr <laughs> yeah back in the day when tumblr was cool um and i had a tumblr and i had seven different accounts on my tumblr like you could open the different like pages and whatever and so i had like my angst tumblr that i had my like you know the like what was it called soft grunge tumblr with like you know you were like edgy but like cute and girly at the same time and then I, I had like a bunch of different like things. And then, I don't know, I just wrote like crazy on those two. I had one that I wrote poetry, one that I wrote a short story on. Um, and I had that for years. And then I had an account on, I think it was on Blogger way back in the day, where I wrote like random stories. Cause I wanted to be an author back in the day. That was like my dream is to be like an author. I wanted to live, 
out in like a cabin in the woods and just like, I don't know, just write things and then make like thousands of dollars from my little like isolated cabin in the woods. That was my dream. Um, but yeah, and then I think I opened like my first like official public blog that wasn't just like teen angst stuff when I was 22. It was I was open with it, but it felt too like exposed. So I got really self-conscious and then shut it down. And then I started this one that I have now a couple years ago, but it stayed low key. Like no one knew I was blogging. I was just kind of writing out just to write. And eventually I got over myself and was like, no, like the things I write about, the things I say, like what's the point of me writing about it and wanting to help people, but just hiding it in the, like, you know what I mean? I was just like hiding it away. So yeah, that's kind of where the blogger me was born, I guess. I've always been this way, but it just kind of became public recently. Um, my favorite things about blogging being able to communicate with a lot of people and being able to share my experiences with people and have people respond and say like, oh, this was my experience too, or thank you for talking about this because I experienced whatever. That's kind of why I why I do this. It's my favorite part about it. My least favorite part about blogging is advertising blogging and advertising all of that. I hate publishing my posts on Facebook. I hate talking about it. Anywhere outside of like my WordPress forum, I hate it. I hate tweeting, being like, hey guys, look at this blog post that I wrote. I hate that part. Oh, I hate it so much. But it's necessary because if I do eventually want to do this thing and make it more than just something I do every once in a while, I would love to make some type of revenue off of it. I think it would be nice. Um, then I have to let people know what I'm doing. So I'm doing the thing to hopefully like bring me to the next level, but Ugh, that's my least favorite part is like telling people that I'm a writer. I usually don't. So, okay, what are some other questions I can answer about blogging? Um, do I really spend eight hours a day writing? Not all the time. Sometimes. <laughs> um, and usually it's not just all writing. Like what you didn't see today because I didn't put it on camera would be like the millions of times that I got up and like ran around my house like a crazy person, stretching and just like letting my blood flow because I don't wanna sit for eight hours. Um, also, I eat a lot and a lot. <laughs> I'm also watching Jane the Virgin while I'm writing um, and like creating stuff. It's mainly while I'm like editing, I can't listen to things while I'm actually writing, but while I'm like, editing and combing through for like errors and like fixing things up and making things look nice, I'll watch a show. I do a lot of research so I'll go on the internet and I'll look up um, the topic that I'm writing about just to see like if there are any scientific studies about it, if there's like specific definitions that I should use. Um, so a lot of it is spent researching. Um, if there's businesses I'm talking about, I research the business. I research their mission statement just to make sure we're like along the same lines as far as like our values and stuff like that. What else do I do? I dance. As part of my like running around the house like a crazy person, like getting blood circulation going, I will dance a lot while I'm like waiting for an idea to hit or while I'm like trying to navigate around writer's block. And I'll do laundry. Those are some things that I'll do in like while writing. So technically, yeah, I'll spend eight hours writing, but like I won't spend eight hours straight writing. Let's see. Do I have any blogger role models? So not really. Most of the bloggers that I know are around my age. Um, I think if I had to pick one, it would be Hyatt Rita. Um, and I follow her on Instagram and she has a blog and she's really, like she's she's a boss woman. Like, she, you know, she knows what she's doing. And I think the reason why I would pick her would be because of her story and the fact that she woke up one day and was like, I think I could be a blogger. And then she made it happen. Like, and then she had like this dream apartment that she like, you know, wanted and she aimed for and she got her finances in order for or whatever. And she just kind of like wants something, she makes it happen. Um, so I really admire that about her. Um, but yeah, if you wanna know more about her, follow her on Instagram, go find her. But she's cool. And I think she's definitely, if I had to pick like a blogger role model, she'd be one of them. Um, I think what my, what my end goal with blogging would be would just to be able to use my writing, use my skill set to help people 
in what way I don't really know and I'm not so much fixating on the end goal because I'm actually enjoying the journey. I'm enjoying the process and the learning and the exploring new apps to make things easier and the process of learning from other people and being a part of communities that'll teach me things like I'm enjoying that process so I don't know where I'll end up with it who knows will I still be satisfied if in five years I'm still not making any money from it yeah sure like because I, I started off that way as long as I can help people I think I'll be content now it would be nice do not get me wrong but I won't throw in the towel because it wasn't successful and I wasn't like the big influencer, which is not my goal, by the way. I don't want to be an influencer, like at all. Um, I just want to help people, really. Like my big goal for like existing is just to help people. Um, so if I can do that with my writing, I'm content. I'm happy. I think the last question I'll kind of put out there and answer would be if I have any advice for new bloggers. And I think the only advice that I would give you would be make sure you're having fun. That's about it. Like, make sure you're having fun with it because at the end of the day, it could take you five years, it could take you 10 years, it could take you one year, rare, but it could, to make significant money on this platform if you make any at all. So if that's the goal and you're not enjoying it, pick something else. Like. As long as you're having fun and you're doing it for yourself and you enjoy it, then you're gonna be fine. You're gonna be successful, you're gonna have fun, you're gonna. If fun is your goal, you'll get it. But it's a lot of work. So you need to be able to have fun with it while doing the work stuff. Because let me tell you, if I was not having fun, I would not have spent eight hours today doing this. But here we are. And I had a blast. I'm like, I'm enjoying it. So. I think that's it. I'm gonna go back and continue to do my uh, social media prep. Um, maybe write some more stuff. Maybe I won't actually. Maybe I'll just close my computer and finish this episode of Jane the Virgin. Um, I don't really know yet, but I will see you guys on Saturday and have a great rest of your week. All right, bye.